Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This is what um, I like to call a DIY driveway addition. Basically, the homeowner and his son prepped this entire job. They dug it out. They set the forms. They did all this by just watching my videos. So they knew exactly what it should look like before the concrete goes in. He did need a little help uh, finishing the concrete out, and that's when I came in. This particular concrete mix design is a three-quarter rock. It's a 3250 PSI straight sack cement, no fly ash. Also, I added a little fiber mesh when the truck arrived on the job site. We were able to tailgate this right off the back of the truck. Typically, I pump them a lot of jobs because the access isn't there. But in this case, we didn't have to take the truck all the way up on the existing driveway or approach, which is always risky when you get into old concrete because it could crack it up or crush it down. But we got away with this one. We just put all the chutes on it, reached everything. Now this is a three foot wide wood bowl float. And I'm running that perpendicular to the way the rod board was running downhill. That's how you get it nice and flat. Now I just dragged a little concrete out of that corner. It was a little high, but I noticed a low spot next, next, next to the existing driveway, so I just dragged a little concrete over there. We poured this really stiff, too. We poured this at about a three and a half inch slump. And the way slump works and how, why they call it slump. Um, that depends on how much water is in the concrete. A slump test is a, um, a cone that starts, you fill the cone up to 12 inches height. When you slide that cone off of the concrete, depending on how far it drops when you take your next measurement, that's your slump test. And that's why this is a minimal, minimal slump of 3.5 inches. So if we started with a 12 inch cone stacked straight up slid the cone off the top it would have only dropped three inches so that's a three inch slump now if you get a 12 inch slump you better might as well throw it away well anything over a six is really no good We just use the dry line. We follow the existing joints off of the driveway. Now we're running a three quarter deep, half inch radius joiner. We're going to do a shiner edge on this as well, on the outside perimeter, six inch shiner. And the way that works is we'll broom it, and then we'll go ahead and follow it up with a six inch wide hand edger and leave a shiner. Now we have a 10 inch wide walking edge or half inch radius. The reason all of his 2x4s and 2x6s is, is, are white, they were leftover lumber from a um, patio cover that he built in the backyard. So he pre painted everything before he put it up. And these are excess wood that he had left over, which came in handy for this project for him. And now what we have going here is a funny trowel. We have expansion joint or expansion form expansion foam at the bottom back of sidewalk there. Mm -hmm. 
So up until this point, pretty much everything we've done is um, been by tool, uh, with tools with poles on it. We had the walking joint or walking edge or you know the bowl float. We've got the uh, funny trowel. Really have, haven't had to really get down on it yet at this point. Now we're down to the point where the concrete's pretty getting pretty hard, so walking tools aren't going to work as well. So you got to get down on your hands and knees and start rubbing it out. concrete that we put in here it's all about six inches deep we didn't have to put any steel reinforcement in it because we got good depth we got big rock we got fiber mesh and that'll be more than adequate for something like this And this is what it looks like about two weeks later. So it's almost cured out. You can see there's the shiner edge on the outside perimeter. It's still going to get a little bit lighter in color than that. Probably a couple more weeks, maybe a month, should be cured out. Basically, the, those the addition of the driveway, what it what it uh, what it accomplished was, you can put two cars in the driveway now, and you can still open the door and get out on 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 concrete. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you like these type of videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Also, um, hit the little bell notification so when I upload, it'll let you know that we have a new video up and you can get right to it and watch it. Thanks. Have a good